Hello, this is Muhammad Magdi, and this video is about go to migration script. This is a script I have developed for making the migration easier, and this is will be our um, agenda for today. Why to do Udo migration? How to migrate your instance? Migration challenges, migration script requirements to work with the script a demo, run the script and test the results, and finally, contact me if you have any questions. Why to do Udo migrations? Well, everybody has his own reason to migrate uh, his own database and own modules. One of these reasons, or let's say a few reasons are listed here, upgrade Udo to a newer version, downgrade Udo to an older version, this might be awkward a little bit but it happens sometime if you need a feature that you cannot find in the newer version so you want to downgrade or going back one or two versions uh, in the past upgrade postgres if you're trying to get a feature in postgres in a newer version of postgres sql and you are trying to um, move to this new uh, feature if enterprise migrate to community okay if you trying to minimize your cost I mean your uh, business cost or your uh, Udo cost and you want to just use the community and and in the same time you do not have the expected value from the enterprise how to migrate your instance usually there are two main steps to migrate your instance if you are running Udo 8 for, for example and you are trying to move to Udo 12 you will migrate the code which is the business logic and of course you will migrate the database and this part I mean migration of database it usually done by importing and exporting the data in CSV files you will export from the old database and you know and import it in the new database migration challenges migrate the business logic of course if you are moving to a new version of Udo in this case you have a new business logic in the new version and you need to fit or at least make your uh, your your old modules fit the new business logic in the new instance migrate the data to fit with new business logic of course the database will change the relations sometimes the tables names and the database the fields names its nature like you know uh, if it's required or not in other words null or not null okay migrate settings data for example ir property okay sometimes or let's say it can be ignored also the transaction data like invoices and sales orders sometimes it can be ignored but it's really important migrate attachments this is another challenge migrate social logs like emails notifications followers if issues repeat the data migration many times if you have any issues you will do this again importing and exporting and make sure that the data is uh, imported correctly the migration script made the data migration easier this is what I'm I have worked on once the script is is ready after doing some analysis understanding the structure of the database understanding the nature of fields the relation between tables okay the script will be ready to, to be applied or to be used unlimited times the script also helps you to move the attachments in no time like customer uh, images like product images all of these attachments will be migrated to or at least moved to the new database in no time migrate the data anywhere unlimited times well, again once the script is ready after the analyzing the data the data uh, analyzing the tables the relations in the table and so on it can be uh, used unlimited times okay what I mean by anywhere I mean that if you wanted me to, to do this locally of course I can do this from local to local I have the source and I will move it to the local okay and of course I will uh, upload the database as a final result if you want to make it directly from local from the old database the source database remote server which is yours it's okay it can be done 
remote to local yes I can do this from a remote server which is your production server for example to my local machine and usually we can do this for example for for testing and remote to remote in other words you have your old server with Udo and you have another server with a newer version of Udo and you want to migrate the data you know instantly and not to allude it in, in, uh, in my machine in this uh, in this case I will do this directly from your old production server to your new uh, production server what this script can migrate versions of Udo and Postgres make no difference actually I can I can migrate these are examples by the way so if I if you have version 8 I can migrate it directly to 10 or maybe higher like 11 12 maybe 13 and so on Udo 12 to Udo 11 as I mentioned before you might have your good reason to downgrade your Udo Udo community to Udo enterprise this is possible to enterprise to community it's okay no problem upgrading Postgres from 9 to 10 or 10 to 9 this is possible to migration scenarios after doing the analysis understanding the structure and so on okay finally we are ready to migrate to testing environment many times until you approve the migration if it's okay we can move to the next step to migrate to training environments so your users your employees can can train using an actual data real data in their real scenarios and and make sure that they understand the new um, the new version of Udo or new workflow okay and they in this case you they will be able to use actual data okay migrate to production environments okay let's say that you have this scenario if it's migrated right now and everything is fine but you did not use it immediately if you started to use it after a while let's say one month because your employees feel better with the old version and they need to to be there for a while and they did not move uh, immediately to the new version in this case you maybe after one month as I mentioned you might need to migrate the updated data what I need to do with this process migration requirements the source database will be used as a source of data of course in this case I, I might need um, a direct access to your database the modules for source and target okay and in this case I, I need to you know install the modules and make sure that the process uh, does not you know fail for for some reason like missing a data missing a field or something like that I need to test everything and make sure that everything is okay data distortion is okay keep your secrets you can you know change all the customer names let's say naming them customer change all the emails change all the full uh, phone numbers you can also change the products names you know their prices and so on it's okay for me because I, I just care about the data structure I don't care about the data itself so you can keep your secrets it's okay and finally your patience for the next 24 hours I mean after getting your old database and the new database so I just need 24 hours to deliver a working version or a running version of the database okay so this is a demo after this presentation I will you know in the description I will add the, uh, a link to this presentation and of course I will add the URL here in the presentation for the YouTube video okay so let's move okay I have here Udo version 10 with all these customers here I have some quotations I have uh, sales orders I have also products and this is a case you want to migrate Udo version 10 directly to version 12 so I will start with local database this is version 12 check it together as you can see it's 12 community edition and I have no no products 
I have no quotation I have no customers okay as you can see it's empty database so let's start the migration this of course will be done after getting your script ready okay it seems to be fine everything run as expected so I will reload the page and keep in mind that we still on local machine okay so assuming that you want to move or check your data like camp to camp you have one purchase here it's okay it's working fine you have vendor bills it's also migrated okay and of course you can check the social here okay this is empty but we can check another one where it's working um, make sure that uh, or keep in mind that it, this version of script is just for uh, demo demonstration okay it has been not done so let's check the products all the products are here check the Canton view okay um, we have this laptop I think that this one yes and as you can see here this works the social I mean the logs here are working you have sold five units okay and you have the reports also working the vendors are there too so even let's um, you know uh, starting the debug mode or the virtual the debug mode yes I'm sorry <clears throat> so yes we have here this IR property which is meaning or let's say which is related to the configuration and default values uh, and also company related uh, details this is on the local machine okay let's move to the remote machine in this case I'm using a virtual machine on virtual box and it's open to so I will log in I mean that after testing and after everything is okay after approving that everything is okay we have here no customers not nothing is there actually so I will use another script which is prepared for this demo tool as you can see will be reported actually which version of the source database and the target database and the database names okay so what I'm going to do right now I just remove this filter here and everything is there too okay so let's check the products it's listed too everything is okay so as you can see this will be done almost in no time just running the script after doing the analysis that's why I ask it for 24 hours to do the analysis and this will be done automatically and as much as you need anywhere on any server just need to repair the server once and finally you can contact me using these contacts this is my email this number is for whatsapp so feel free to contact me anytime thank you